We have an example of, of a fellow who went in with his mother. He cast his ballot, he turned it into the polling clerk. The polling clerk put his ballot in the garbage. His mother then turned in her ballot, and the polling clerk put her ballot in the garbage as well. What kind of system is this? This is Alberta. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, a, a sophisticated, highly functioning democracy. These are issues that have to be addressed. Many voters and campaign workers described the March 3rd, 2008 provincial election as the worst run election they'd ever seen. Voters' lists were incomplete. There were shortages of material at the polling stations. Polling clerks and staff were poorly trained, and there was inconsistent application of the rules. In some polling stations, scrutineers reported that as many as half the people showing up to vote were not on the voters' lists, even though many had lived in the area for 15 or 20 years. As a result, they had to stand in long lineups waiting to be sworn in to be able to vote. Hundreds and quite possibly thousands just gave up and uh, left the polling station. Others were given incorrect information on the voting cards they received from Elections Alberta. In some cases, voters were sent to three different polling stations. Who knows how many simply decided not to bother voting after that kind of confusion. Frankly, some eligible voters, we don't know how many, but some yeah, eligible voters, possibly thousands in Alberta, were effectively denied the right to vote. Widespread voting irregularities like these bring the entire electoral system into disrepute, feeding voter apathy and cynicism while contributing to low voter turnout. The message this sends to voters is, their vote doesn't matter. As a result, this morning I have sent a letter to Auditor General Fred Dunn asking him to investigate Elections Alberta's conduct and management of the March 2008 election. The Auditor General has the power under his legislation to undertake a special investigation into the manner in which Elections Alberta planned for and administer the election, and we are urging him to do so. Accompanying the letter I've written to the Auditor General is a thick binder of material that we have collected, raising specific concerns from across the province around the administration of uh, the election. We think that uh, this is a matter of fundamental uh, rights in a democracy, and we think that the next election has to be much better run than the last. And that was a location where the, uh, the returning officer and the location of the advanced ballot was right next to the election office of the uh, Tory candidate, and that there were Tory election signs all over the place within a few meters of where people were to cast their ballot. You have uh, at least half uh, the local returning officers with direct ties to the Tories. It's like it's like going to an Eskimos game and discovering that half the referees are on the payroll of the Stampeders. Um, it's wrong. Uh, it was identified as a concern a long time ago, and uh, we think that at the very minimum it sets up a bad appearance. But we actually think that at times uh, it quite possibly went beyond that. This morning, I had a, a polling clerk uh, walk into my constituency office and uh, tell me that, uh, or tell our staff that uh, she was concerned that uh, because of the uh, behavior of some of the officials, the election officials, that uh, voters were encouraged to vote in a particular way. That kind of thing is extremely serious. And uh, as I say, when you have uh, a vast number of detailed examples from all corners of the province, it's time we took this very seriously. And the chief electoral officer submitted a major report um, almost two years ago recommending changes into the election system, and the Stelmac government completely ignored that. Uh, we need the Auditor General to get to the bottom of this. What we're seeing is symptoms. What we're seeing is a huge number of symptoms that affected thousands of Albertans. We need the Auditor General to tell us exactly what the problem is and how it will be fixed. Canadians and Albertans take democracy for granted, as if it's some God-given right. It's not. And democracies come and democracies go. And if we aren't careful, 
uh, we will find that democracy in Alberta becomes a sham. And uh, I'm not prepared to stand by and let that happen.